Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now we are starting a new sub series table layout panel container. So, this uh, sub series contains uh, 10 parts, and once you complete all 10 parts, you will uh, know the functionality of a table layout panel and uh, how to use it efficiently. So in this first part, we will learn about the example that we are going to create in the next 10 parts. So the table layout panel works just like the table tag of the HTML. So in HTML, we can use a table tag and inside each cell, we can store some other tags. So the same way, we can use the uh, table layout panel. The panel tags cells in rows and columns. So just like how the table is uh, uh, rows and columns, the same way we can pack the cells in rows and columns. So the table layout panel is nothing but a pack of rows and columns and we call that as a cells. Each cell can hold only one control or a container. So that means in a cell you can store only one control. You can't store a checkbox and a radio button in the same time inside a one cell position but if you want to do so you can make use of container and that container can hold more controls say for example you can use a panel and that panel may contain other controls so the control inside the cell will occupy full space of it that means if you are creating a button inside the cell, the button will occupy the uh, full cell's position. Okay, in this sub series, we will create an example which make a selen table layout panel. So, this is the example we are going to use. And if you see, the example has two parts. So the first part is here, and second part will be here. So in this first part, we will place the table layout uh, panel container. And what you are seeing here is the table layout panel container. And in the bottom part, we place supporting controls. So you can see there is one label and there are some other controls here. So what we will do, the entire stuff, we will use a split container. And in the first split, we will use the table layout panel. And in the second split, we will add some other supporting controls. So. You can see this is actually a hospital bed reservation system. You can imagine like that or you can even think of this as a seat reservation for a concert hall. So for now, for simplicity, we will take it as a hospital which has three floor, floor one, ground floor, second floor and third floor. And there are bed that is allocated in each floor, each floor. So for example, if we take second floor there are two position one is north and another one is south and there are bed that is arranged in north and south uh, direction so in each floor there are two rows of bed and each row contains 15 bits and we use the checkbox to allocate the bed so what do you have to do so the user will just place a check mark and once they place the check mark the color will change like this. So you will see a tick mark and then the background will change to yellow color stating that the bed is allocated. And at the same time, when you make a click, it will say that 
bed number 2 allocated on a specific floor you can also reserve a bed so what you have to do you have to click this uh, drop down then decide the floor then decide north or south location after that specify the bed location then click on the reserve button so here we used these controls just to learn about the table layout panel container the simple way of reserving the bed is right clicking the uh, particular uh, checkbox but here uh, we want to explain something that's why we placed these controls so at runtime we will receive a particular control from the cell location then we will reserve that means we will make this uh, disabled and change the background color to red that means uh, this tells that the bed is reserved that means it cannot be allocated user cannot make a click here to place a check mark all right uh, that's all about this uh, example in the next coming videos uh, we will learn all this So there is near demo here. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.